Hitting's contagious. Pitching's contagious. For Johnny Vandermeer himself, pitching was certainly contagious in June of 1938 when he accomplished what is now considered the single greatest pitching feat ever by throwing two consecutive no-hitters. I didn't go for a no-hitter in either ball game till the last inning. Then I went for it. So I started both those ball games in the in the ninth inning and said I had 20 good pitches left. And I would give them everything I had. No let-ups, no changes, nothing cheap. If I was going to get beat, I was going to get beat on my strength. Vandermeer's strength was his fastball. But on June 11th against the Boston Braves, he relied on finesse. One of the few days that I uh, was throwing the ball exactly where I wanted to throw it all day. About 80% uh, of the plays were ground balls in the infield. I saw a lot of sinkers. It was an entirely different pitch ball game than the second one. For one thing, the second no-hitter came in the first night game at Ebbets Field. And that in itself presented Vandermeer with some unique problems. The first thing that happened was they gave me a night from my home in New Jersey. And that is the jinx right there. You usually don't get by the third inning. I thought about that too. And then also the fact that you're playing in Brooklyn and they'll let you know before you even throw the first pitch over there that we're going to get you. But one of the things that uh, came up that night was McPhail kept selling tickets and he didn't stop. And the fire department came in because he had them sitting in the aisles and you name it. I got up to warm up three times and I had to sit down three times. So we really didn't get started that ball game that night until about 9 o'clock. So there was a lot of things that went different in that second game to put a lot of heat on me. Fortunately, it was Vandermeer who put the heat on the Dodgers, and this time he relied on his strength. I was busting the ball real good. I'd probably thrown the ball 95, 96, 97 miles an hour. And uh, along about the eighth inning, I probably started to lose a little bit off of my fastball. He started throwing curves, and everybody kept looking for fastballs in, so uh, that really helped me. Double no-hit Johnny Vandermeer, a baseball legend.